Good morning, this is Angela with Parker's Permaculture. I am still out on the Oregon coast at a friend's house. I spent yesterday uh, on a very, very long, very steep hike. In fact, I got back um, home and my phone had told me that I had hiked almost 39 floors. Uh, that tells you how steep the incline was. I hiked to the Astoria Column and back. If you are familiar with the Astoria Column, you will know what a what a wild hike that was, especially the last portion of it. The switchbacks are really tight and the sidewalk ends. And so it was a little precarious as I was walking along the edge of the road, really worried about the cars coming and going. Lots of deer, really lovely um, hike. And then once I got up to the Astoria column, I didn't actually go up the column itself because it was super packed with tourists. And I mean, obviously myself, I'm a tourist. Um, it was super packed with tourists, and so uh, I just enjoyed the view from the ground at the very top of the hill. I didn't go up the column itself. And then I hiked back down and I had a cheeseburger at a local restaurant and promptly came back here and took a nap. So I'm getting ready to go out on another long walk this morning on my last day here. And I noticed that my hat, um, it's its really cool and and yet also very sunny. So that's the perfect kind of weather to easily get sunburned because you don't realize that you are getting so much sun exposure. So I always wear my sun hat. This is a hat that was my mother's. So I realized this morning as I went to put it back on that there's a new hole in it. You can see I've mended this hat a few times with just little bits of scrap scrap yarn. I thought I would just take a few moments and mend this, this rip here before I go out on my walk so that it doesn't get worse. For me, I don't mind having garments or objects in my possession that have visible mending. I made a whole video about visible mending last year, I think. For me, I enjoy being able to see repairs that I make. It says that I am investing in um, keeping something in my wardrobe or in my household rather than disposing of it. It says that uh, I'm okay with imperfection. I'm okay with things that aren't new and shiny. As long as they are still usable and functional, I will keep them around and I will keep maintaining and repairing them so they can have a much longer life. For me, this hat, which was my mother's, and you've probably seen me wear it in a lot of my videos, is getting close to 40 years old. And the straw from which it is woven is a little bit brittle in places. And so it does mean that the more I wear it, the more likely I am to see areas of breakage. And I wanna keep this hat in my rotation. I've never found another hat quite like it. Uh, and it's still perfectly usable, right? It can still absolutely protect me from the sun. And a few little tears are not gonna get in the way of that as long as I prevent them from getting worse. For me, part of living a sustainable life and part of um, acknowledging that our consumer culture of needing to have fast fashion, needing to have the newest, the shiniest, the best of everything is utterly nonsensical. And having visual reminders of that in my daily life helps me be able to remind myself of those truths and counter messages in the culture. And it also helps me, you know, sometimes my house is pretty shabby. Everything we own is kind of old and uh, full of dings and mending and, you know, um, not new and shiny in any way. And when I feel that kind of pressure to keep up with the Joneses a little bit, having those visual reminders of obvious repairs is, a good encouragement to me. It may seem silly, but it's a good encouragement to me that I am living my values and that I am doing the right thing for our household by not getting sucked in to consumer culture and the way it wants us to always have the newest, the shiniest, the best, and to throw away anything that has any tiny imperfection. We as humans are imperfect, our bodies are imperfect, our bodies bear scars and marks of the journey that we are on in life. And the objects in our possession that we use that have functionality and purpose in our daily lives, this can also bear the scars and marks of being used and valued and appreciated. A little bit like the Velveteen Rabbit. I'm gonna mend this hat real quick and then I'm gonna go on my walk and have brunch on my last morning here in Astoria. I have some scrap yarn and I have my little box of stitch markers and yarn needles. I always uh, 
take fiber art stuff with me. This weekend I did a lot of spinning, but I also did a lot of knitting. And so I have my little, my little toolbox and I just happened to have some scrap yarn. This is wool from some socks I knitted for my dad actually. Um, and this is the last little bit of it. And I'm gonna use it to mend this tear here. I've got my yarn needle. You can see from an earlier repair, there's not a lot of rhyme or reason. I just wanna go back to before. So here's the beginning of the tear. I wanna go back into the fiber that's in good condition a little bit first. I haven't decided yet what this mend is gonna look like, so I'm just stabilizing it initially. I don't know if I'll actually darn it or what my strategy will be here. So my hat is mended. I found that for hats, especially this one where it's brittle, I can't really darn it. It pulls the edges of the weave together in a way that makes them more brittle and prone to cracking. And so I just do cross hatching. A large mend, not perfect. I'm using the yarn that I have. So it is more obvious than the orange yarn I used to mend over here. But my hat is now stable. I can wear it. I can go out on my hike, have brunch and head back home knowing that the uh, problem, the tear is not gonna get any worse. I may come back along later, and I don't know if you can see it here, you can see the repair. I may come back later and kind of decorate it a little bit more, uh, maybe, you know, put some little bit of ribbon or flowers or, or something on top to draw even more attention to it and make it an element of beauty in the imperfection. So thanks for watching with me today. I hope that you feel comfortable wearing and using things that are mended and repaired, aren't new, aren't shiny, that the temptation, the message of consumer culture, that we have to have the newest and the best, or that we are somehow falling behind, that we have to present a perfect version of ourselves and of our uh, possessions to the world is deeply flawed and unsustainable and is not helpful in any way, shape, or form. It's okay for you to be imperfect. It's okay for the things that you own to be imperfect. It's okay for you to have wounds that have been mended. It is okay for your possessions to have mending as well. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and please check out my Patreon down below. And don't forget to check out my Whole House Frau Friday playlist. Thanks.